children by your article where you've uh, demonstrated there are several COE models. You talked about centralized, you talked about hybrid, you talked about federated. Then let's start off with, no, let's start off with the centralized. How does a centralized intelligent automation center of excellence look like? Sure. Um, so centralized is really the starting point, right? It's um, it's what we recommend everyone to, to start off with. Um, especially if they're getting started with intelligent automation. In a centralized governance structure, um, a central team um, handles all the RPA development, the discovery, installation, documentation, best practices, testing, delivery, pretty much everything is all handled by that one central team. Um, it's fantastic when you're trying to really understand and, and standardize your best practices. And it really sets the foundation for the later models, such as federated or hybrid. Um, it doesn't necessarily scale well because eventually that team is going to be um, overburdened. They might not have the bandwidth to deal with all of the um, all of the organization's automation needs. Um, but you know they can develop, they can design people structures, and really put the the real foundation in place. Then when it gets to the federated, which is the next level up, um, you start to get to more, more mature. Um, so the CRE capabilities start to uh, develop into small groups. And each group is um, like in close proximity to business units, which really actually helps scale um, automation across the business. Because each of those federated CREs um, have particular knowledge on that area. So marketing CRE knows exactly um what needs to be automated how to go about finding all the stakeholders um it implements its own best practices on how to do said said tasks um and it really does give them a greater ownership of their own decisions which again helps with the scale i guess the only issue of that is it can be difficult to um have each of the series following the same route uh, which we'll get onto i guess later um, Moving further, you've got the hybrid model, which is like a, a mix of the centralized and the federated. So you have one, you still have one central CRE, uh, but the CRE is le taking less of a, a development role and is stepping back and doing more um, community, community building, support, um, best practices, guidelines. Um, but then you still have those federated series in, in a sense still connected to the series so they still share best practices the communi communication lines are, are more clear um, but they still the, the, the business units still regain their own ability to make their own decisions um, it's kind of like the best of both worlds um, and it really you know this, the central series team still retains some ownership and responsibility but it's um yeah i mean it's it's the ideal scenario it's just really hard to implement. 